I have some of the happiest happy mail ever to show you. I think I say that every time I get happy mail. Do I? I probably do. <laughs> because it's true of all the happy mail I get. Every time it's just the best ever. <laughs> um, this, okay. This big paper tube came in the mail, which always excites me. It didn't look like this because I've played with it. <laughs> glued stuff on it because you know you can't just throw away a good paper tube like this but it was just you know plain brown paper tube um, and it was from Lou Jean Martin who gave me a heads up that she was sending something she didn't realize how much I was going to love the packaging but I do these paper tubes are fabulous and this one's a good heavy one and it was just perfect for my copper tubing <laughs> because I had them sitting in another thing that I wasn't happy with and just look how perfect they fit in here I mean it's just right so um, I'm probably going to put something sturdier on the bottom uh, for them and then this is just going to sit in my closet and hold my copper tubing and I'm, I'm just going to continue to collage on it as I find little bits and pieces to put on there but inside said paper tube was, oh, <laughs> there was some brown paper packaging um, stuff down in there, which of course I immediately took out, painted, and scrunched up, and so now I've got this piece of scrunched up pearly metallic-y paper to use on something. Which I don't know what, but this to me, this just looks like a brown brain. Does that look like a brain to you? It does to me. So, anyway, after I got through playing with all of the um, packaging that I was so sad, excited about that I'm sure Lou Jean wasn't anticipating, but, you know, that's just me, I pulled the stuff out, and this is what was in there. And she had everything all, you know, rolled up neatly, and it was tied with this awesome... Um, colorful nylon cording stuff which of course I'm saving because I'll use it and then she included this lovely card which I believe looks jelly printed to me it's just beautiful and then a note and she has like the best handwriting ever I can actually read what she writes which is really cool because I'm jealous of people who have good handwriting Okay, inside, um, she sent some of this um, metallic kind of copper colored netting stuff. And I've seen this. I may have had some of this at one time. I'm not sure. But um, never in this color. And I don't have any now if I did before. And this is just awesome. This, I mean, just the the texture and the color and I don't know if you can even tell how reflective it is but um, it's just awesome and I can't wait to use it for something I don't know what but I needed this Lou Jean thank you I don't know what I needed it for but I know that I did because I can't stop feeling it <laughs> I'm sure by now y'all have realized that I'm very kind of tactile and and I like the way things feel so there okay there's also these two pieces of I don't even know what I don't even know what this is all I know is I love it it's hand painted something some kind of meshy um, something I don't know what it, it's it's not really is it a ribbon it's not really a ribbon I don't know what it is I keep saying I don't know what it is because I don't know what it is but it's fabulous and I love the colors. All, everything she sent, all the colors are so deep and rich and awesome. So there are those two Duvalis. Any of these are just going to look great on some books. And another kind of a different um, copper colored mesh stuff. This one's a little stiffer, um, but it's still that kind of meshy, uh, textury stuff and then these 
I've never seen these before. Did you buy this, Lou Jean, or did you make these? Because these look, these are just fantastic. They just look, they look, well, I mean, obviously somebody made them. But did you do this? Where did you get these? What is this? Just tell me. Because this mesh stuff on here, I have seen this before. In fact, I might, I may have, have had some at one time. This kind of metallic-y, meshy stuff. But it is attached very well to this sort of brown paper and painted over and it's just awesome but it's attached really well you know like maybe it was mechanically done so maybe it's not homemade I don't know I don't know what it is anyway you, as you can see I just spend way too much time analyzing I want to figure out how everything is done so I can duplicate it but this is fabulous and then there's another similar one right here and look at this. This has got the mesh is the square shape instead of the diamond and it's attached to this brown paper backing and painted and then it's got these blobs of of I don't know. Are they like hot glue blobs that have been goldenized? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm stumped. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Oh, these are so fantastic. I've never seen anything like this. Thank you, Lou Jean. These are awesome. Okay, these. Everything in here, I'm going to say, oh, I've never seen this before because I haven't. This is some gorgeous um, kind of Asian printed uh, mulberry paper. And it is just beautiful. Nice big sheet. This is like this is like art store stuff right here. This is fantastic. And this ooh, I'm probably see I'm gonna be hoarding these for a while because they're just too fabulous to use just yet. I'll use them eventually, but I have to I just have to hold them for a while and, and love them because they are so fantastic. Look at that. Okay. And then there's this, um, which I'm guessing is a Japanese alphabet. And it's just this fabulous piece of uh, decorative art paper with this alphabet printed on it. I've never seen this pattern before. I mean, I've seen lots of printed art papers and stuff, but never one quite like this. This is fantastic. So that just needs to be a journal cover. Oh, the fabrics. Oh, the fabrics. Okay, before I do the fabrics, let's get these last two pieces of paper so that we can all ooh and ah over the fabrics together. Okay, this, I have not seen one quite like this. I've seen different kinds of this, um, it's a pulpy paper. Um, they're usually made out of some kind of tree bark or plant materials or something. I'm not sure what this one is made of, but it's probably something similar to that. But look at the the pattern. It's got a kind of a lacy, holy pattern thing going on. So I've never seen one quite like this. And it's a beautiful color. This is just fabulous. And then this is another, it's a sheet of that um, I can't tell if I just turned it upside down or not, but to me, this looks right side up. <laughs> I don't even know, because I don't know what that is on there. It's some kind of foreign text. That's all I know. And it's fabulous. And it's it's on a really, um, this is some kind of a, a fibrous, really porous paper. I don't know exactly what kind. Probably, I don't know, banana leaf or something like that and nice and long and beautiful gold metallic um, writing on it that I can't even identify. I don't know what that is. I think that says help. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a hidden, it was a hidden message. There's like an SOS in here or something. <laughs> this is so awesome. Thank you, Luigi. Okay, these fabrics. Girl, I gotta know about these fabrics because I've never seen any fabrics like this before. Not that I'm some kind of fabric know-it-all person. I'm certainly not. I don't even sew. But, you know, I look around. I see stuff. 
um, I've never seen anything quite like this. They are some kind of painted or uh, hand, I'm sure they're done by hand, dyed fabrics. They're, they feel like a cotton, maybe, maybe a blend, but mostly cotton anyway. But look at them. I mean, just look at the patterns and the colors. They are just beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this at Joann's. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know where you got this or what it is, but it is fantastic. I can't believe you shared it. Who shares stuff like that? This is the stuff that you're supposed to hoard forever and ever because it's so awesome. And look at you sharing it like that. Man, you're a better person than me. That's all I can say. Look at these. The swirlies. Oh, check that out. This is some kind of awesome dyeing process, I'm convinced. Um, this is fabulous. I've seriously never seen this fabric before. And then, as if this, that wasn't awesome enough, look. Then they've got printed stuff on them, like a, a looks like a window or something. And trees and OC. That look that's that looks like the bayou to me. That's the bayou. And then this little landscapey thing. That's uh I don't know, Lake Tahoe. That's what we'll call that. And then oh look. Definitely a, a tropical island scene with a beach and some mountains. It's got to be Hawaii, I guess. Gosh, that's gorgeous. The colors are just amazing. I'm thinking, I mean, the way they're overlaid, it's bound to be some, is it maybe some kind of batik process? I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, look at this one. Okay, what will we call this? This one is a, um, well, this one's confusing because I don't understand what these are. This is definitely some kind of hanging down trees. That looks almost like a palm tree, but then those look almost like fir trees or some kind of evergreen. So we'll call this one Confusion. Yeah, that's what I've named it, Confusion. Gorgeous Confusion. Awesome Confusion? I don't know. I just can't get enough of these. These, this was just fantastic and so generous of you to share these amazing things, Lou Jean. Thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate it, and and I really do love what was in the tube almost as much as the tube itself. <laughs> I just can't tell you how much I love that tube. <laughs> yep. I'm the three-year-old who plays with the box at Christmas and doesn't really care what's inside. <laughs> um, okay, thank you, Lugene. Um, that's That really made my day. It has made my week because it's I just keep feeling the papers and the fabric, and that makes me happy. I have one more thing to um, show, ask, confess. I don't know. I need y'all to tell me what to do with these. Because this is another one of those weird things that I hoard, and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I sort of had a plan for them, and then I got tired of it, so I don't want to do that anymore. These are coffee filters. They are coffee-stained coffee filters because they're the ones that actually came out my coffee pot. And every time I make coffee, I um, let the filter dry, and I save it. And I, I, my intention was at one time I was making a bunch of coffee filter flowers, so I was going to make some really pretty, you know, just coffee stained, earthy looking flowers. And then I made so many coffee filter flowers that I got sick of them and I never want to see one again as long as I live. So I've done the flowers, I've done the poofs, the big balls, you know, I don't want to do that. But I need to do something with them because there's like 300 of these coffee filters and I have um, cut myself off I've told myself no more 
you know, you, you've got more than you need, especially since you really don't need them and you don't know what you're going to do with them. So I will no longer be saving my used coffee filters. It's going to take me a while to get in the habit of throwing them away because I'm so used to keeping them. But I need y'all to give me some ideas on what to do with them. Um, some ideas that are not flowers and not a little, you know, one of those poof ball things. You know what I'm talking about. We've all seen them. Uh, but I need to do something with them. Um, you know, it's not critical. I'm just going to hold on to them until I think of something. But if you know of something off the top of your head that would just look fabulous made from coffee stained coffee filters, let me know. And maybe I'll get some inspiration to start using some of them. Okie dokie. That is all I have um, for today. So thank you again to Lou Jean for all of the wonderful goodies. And just um, leave me a comment if you come up with something brilliant that I can do with those coffee filters so that I don't look like such a freak for having them. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay. Awkward ending. The end.